Somebody is gonna buy StarCloud for a couple billion dollars. What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode of Moonshot Monday. It's not really a Monday, but this is the show where I break down my crazy predictions for the world of tech and finance. Everyone's been scheming on the SpaceX IPO, data centers in space, the AI bubble, OpenAI is trying to raise a little more money. So I came up with an idea that has been it's been bouncing around my head for weeks now. So I wanted to make an episode about this because to me, this is almost a no brainer. StarCloud, the uh, the company that just launched the first data center in space, uh, 100x more powerful computer than it's ever been in space, um, an NVIDIA chip that was launched on a uh, SpaceX rocket just a month or two ago, or just like a month ago, and it's working in space. So kind of the dawn of this new era of the data center in space. Since that's happened, we've had SpaceX basically say, we're gonna get into data centers in space and we're gonna IPO. Google's saying we're doing data centers in space. Jeff Bezos is saying we're doing data centers in space. NVIDIA is saying we're doing data centers in space. So there has been this flip in the startup world where all of a sudden, um, you know, AI, we all know the hype that's been going into AI, the money that's been going into these data centers, well, it's getting too hard to build them on earth, so we're gonna build them in space. Everyone wants a piece of this business. So my Moonshot Monday is somebody is going to buy StarCloud for a couple billion dollars, whether it's – I have a bunch of reasons why who could do it. Um, my first and most likely pick is Microsoft. So Microsoft, with their OpenAI partnership, but kind of not partnership, each trying to do their own thing, I think this would give Microsoft and their Azure business and their AI ambitions in general a huge kind of edge and angle here um, to actually acquire StarCloud. Now, before – Actually, I go into all the predictors of who could buy StarCloud. I want to get into why somebody like Microsoft would want to buy StarCloud because you might say like, oh, they're just launching an NVIDIA chip on a SpaceX rocket. Anybody can do that. Like, why would they need to buy them? Well, because StarCloud has a team of 20 of the world's best engineers poached from Microsoft and SpaceX. Um, this team of incredible talent that I actually visited in Redmond. Shout out to StarCloud. They're they're awesome. Love the company right, right here in my backyard um, in the headquarters of top satellite talent. So that's the thing is this isn't really as much about StarCloud's business as it is just as much about hiring the talent that StarCloud has. Um, they've already launched the first data center in space. They've already got it working. Um, they already have these programs to expand it. Um, and back to what is so complicated that StarCloud has developed, it's all about the cooling technology and protecting this uh data center from radiation you know it's not just as simple as throwing the nvidia up there and letting it do its thing they got to build this crazy box so it doesn't get ruined by space and then it's got this crazy super cheap super efficient super reliable radiator to dissipate the heat so those are extremely complex engineering challenges that star cloud is on the you know avant or front guard of solving here so I think um, if you acquire, and StarCloud, in the most recent funding round, was valued at 40 million bucks about a year ago. That's the public information I could find. They're probably valued at a lot more now because they've raised more money and actually did invest a little bit in StarCloud. So shout out to StarCloud for that um, because I thought it was just too sick. But, um, you know, what, what, what are they worth right now? A few hundred million bucks. So you could buy them for maybe a couple billion bucks and be able to get this incredible team of engineers. You already have a data centers in space business. Um, I think, you know, Google, Amazon, OpenAI, NVIDIA, maybe not OpenAI, but they kind of want to vertically integrate. So all those four companies, I think, are extremely likely to want to buy StarCloud. Amazon, AWS in space could be bigger than AWS on Earth. I think StarCloud gives you a leap to do that. And maybe you can, you know, get them working with Blue Origin and try and launch not even on SpaceX, which would be huge and strategic. Because another whole, whole angle to this is you might be like, well, why, Gally, why don't you say SpaceX should buy StarCloud? Well, SpaceX has got too much in-house engineering. I don't think it's their style, but I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't say it's impossible because maybe they think, hey, we want these designs. We could move faster. Time is money. Let's just buy StarCloud. And the other dynamic thing that's interesting here is I mentioned, oh, well, what if they launched on Blue Origin? Because SpaceX right now is dominating space launch. No one is even close. So the problem is if there's going to be this massive gold rush to put data centers in space, everyone is going to be paying SpaceX. This is how SpaceX valuation is skyrocketing. All of a sudden, they've become the AI company because if the bottleneck for AI is building data centers uh, and launching them into space, everyone is going to be in a bidding war for SpaceX cargo seats on Starship to try and launch their data center. Who gets first priority of launching stuff on SpaceX rockets? 
SpaceX. So SpaceX is in many ways can literally control this whole data centers and space industry and everyone is at their whim because, you know, StarCloud literally has got to pay SpaceX. So until someone like Blue Origin or Rocket Lab or someone else can come up with a rocket that can launch um, data centers in space. But my prediction is Starship and SpaceX will be so much cheaper and better at launching stuff into space. They're going to have a huge monopoly and you're going to have to pay them a toll if you want to launch your data centers. But anyway, that was me getting sidetracked. That's happening no matter what. So, you know, Amazon, Google, NVIDIA, OpenAI, StarCloud even are all at kind of a massive disadvantage because they don't have the rockets. That's why SpaceX's vertical integration is so, so valuable. There's a few ways this is going to evolve. It's not just going to be SpaceX dominating because in the future, you're going to have SpaceX's cloud operating in space, but you'll also have other clouds operating in space. That's why I kind of like what SpaceX's style is. Like they're letting Amazon and Blue Origin launch their own kind of Starlink satellite network on SpaceX rockets. Like as long as you pay them, they're down to let you launch. So I don't think they're going to stop other data centers in space from launching, but I think they're going to have a massive advantage. So now you're going to go into this very interesting potential sort of arms race to get more compute into space from Amazon, from Microsoft, from Google, from NVIDIA. These are the, mo maybe not NVIDIA because all the other people are buying NVIDIA chips. NVIDIA doesn't have to get into this operating the data center business. But I mean, Amazon, Google, um, you know, maybe OpenAI if they need their own compute. Uh, Microsoft, they're all, you know, trying to win in this ar massive arms race to get data centers in space. And I think if StarCloud has the expertise here, if you're a multi-trillion dollar company, spending a couple billion on StarCloud right now to all of a sudden jump and basically in the lead, you own the first data center in space, you have this whole program to expand it, and now you have you can pour more money and more engineering into it. Um, I think this is a t totally makes sense. They're probably already, this is probably already a conversation going on in boardrooms right now. Like, can we just build what StarCloud has and outbid them for SpaceX spots or should we just buy StarCloud? Like, it, it, this is real stuff. Um, and the flip side is you might be like, oh, isn't StarCloud getting, you know, crushed in all of this? Couldn't they just get crushed? Maybe. But also, I kind of love what StarCloud's doing here. They've kind of got phase two of a genius world-changing startup playbook unfolding. Phase one, everyone thinks your idea is super dumb, ridiculous, never going to work. Why are you working on that? Phase two, everyone copies you. It's obviously the future. We have just entered phase two of StarCloud's business, where it went from a dumb idea to the smartest capital in the world. And that's what's been fascinating for me is I don't know if data centers in space are going to work. Who that? What? It just seems too complicated. I mean, I, don't, I have no idea. But if Sundar Pichai is saying it, if Elon Musk is saying it, if Sam Altman's saying it, Jensen Wong's saying it, StarCloud's doing it. They literally did it. So that's what's so crazy is this was all talk until a couple of weeks ago when StarCloud not only launched but deployed and had communication from their data center in space, 100x bigger than anything launched, and it's like Gemini in space being like, hello, Earthlings. Welcome to the future. <laughs> literally, it said, hello, Earthlings. So um, it's kind of, we're, we're entering this a very epic sci-fi time, but I think StarCloud is, you know, ahead right now. Um, so, but, but I don't know. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how this all plays out because um, I think there's going to be so much money, so much talent, so much attention on this data centers and space thing. Uh, it's really about to heat up. So this is HyperChange. This is my Moonshot Monday, is that Amazon, Microsoft, or Google, or maybe OpenAI or NVIDIA by StarCloud. I think it could happen, and I think it could happen any day now. Um, and if it's not, then maybe StarCloud starts to be on a path to being a huge independent company. Let me know your predictions for the data center and space business. How is this evolving? Who's about to win? Is SpaceX just dominating because the launch costs? Who knows? Anyway, see y'all next time. Peace.